This morning, the birth registration bottleneck analysis was launched by Jamaican consultant Patricia Holness, who conducted the study. The analysis takes a closer look at the challenges for achieving 100% birth registration in Belize. Currently, 6% of the people who were born in Belize are not registered, and this analysis, coupled with recommendations, seeks to close that gap. Valda Flowers, Registrar General, told us more. I think that a lot of efforts has been made to address that situation. I think if you all can recall, um, we have not been getting a lot of complaints from the public. Many attempts have been made and efforts have been made to address that situation. We have introduced a new software system to accommodate um, the registration, the preparation of births and deaths and marriages certificate. The, the office itself has been renovated to, to make provision for persons to access. We have changed the system in such a way that you can apply in the morning and collect the birth certificate in the afternoon to accommodate and to avoid all the problems we've been having. One has to appreciate that the information that comes out of the registry, the birth certificates, death certificate, marriages, are very vital and important information. And we have to take time to ensure that they are properly checked and that they are properly verified because we issue it before we issue it because the implication can be very serious and very devastating and so it's a little bit of time consuming and what we try to do is to facilitate the public in a expeditious manner as we possibly can and sometimes it may mean that we have to do further research in relation to a particular birth certificate or certificate that is being requested and hence that would consume some time and create a little bit of first where the public is concerned but we aim to try and improve that situation i've been doing that since 2013 so, and the work uh, continue in that regard i'm not sure that we need to do much more than what we are doing i think people has to appreciate that in other jurisdictions you don't get a birth certificate within an hour because we have an express service you don't get it within a day you don't get it two days other jurisdictions is much longer so i think belize is way ahead of most jurisdiction and we continue to strive to provide better service and in, we welcome any um, comments or recommendation that any might ha persons might have to assist us in providing the service that we think we should provide. Since 2006, the Ministry of Health and Vital Statistics Unit, in collaboration with UNICEF, have embarked on activities geared at improving the system. In spite of those efforts, at least 6% of children remain outside of the system and are not registered. Therefore, in 2015, the Vital Statistics Unit of the General Registry Department commissioned a bottleneck analysis of current civil registration system with an emphasis on birth registration coverage. Consultant Patricia Holness told the media that registering a child at birth is very important. It is very important that birth registration be taken seriously in any country. And a mother, as you just said, bonds with her child. But then that child has to be a citizen. That child has to live in the country and reap the rewards of being a citizen. So the government of that country needs to know that this is a citizen for whom I must care. And also to ensure that all that goes with citizenship will go to that child. In order to, be an, to have an identity in a particular country, civil registration is important. So the sooner it is done, which is at the birth of the child, the better it is going to be. Because you run the risk of persons delaying and then not coming back, and then that person falls out of the system. But if you register immediately, and this is why I, I, I would recommend that this be done right at the time, in hospital, when the birth occurs, so that the country can have access to that information. Consultant says there are many of the recommendations that we can put in place as quick as possible, and we will, we will endeavor to do that. There are other um, recommendations that we might have to um, look at from a policy level, but those that we can look at from an administrative level, we'll take steps to, to try and put those and implement those recommendations. The findings and recommendations of the analysis will be used towards achieving institutional strengthening and improved administration of the system.